Hey, what's up, folks? Hey, listen, so I was reading this book earlier. Riding the Dragon by Robert J. Wicks. Ten Lessons for Inner Strength and Challenging Times. And one thing jumped out to me, I'll probably I'll probably be back to speak more on this book. Um, also, in the future, I will, I will be re reading from at least one of my books, the last one that I published, um, just because I'm speaking on 50 different things, so I just thought it'd be great to make 50 pieces of content just to throw out there. I don't care too much about the book sales. If you want to buy it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't. Um, if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can get all of my books for free. Um, just putting that out there. But um, lesson two, uh, recognize your renewal zones. And but before I before I uh, dive into that, I just want to say that philosophy, um, because I would take this as a as a bit of philosophy. Philosophy is a means to get through your everyday lives, to get through the the challenges, the the stressful the stressful times or whatever. So I, I like to. Um, portray a philosopher I like to say that I am a philosopher that's why a lot of my advice is to get you through hard times and this philosophy is meant to help you cope to give you an added bit of perspective as you go into your everyday uh, endeavors your battles of sorts so part two uh, lesson two recognize your renewal zones so I, obviously, I recommend people read the books that I bring up. It's a good one so far. Um, so you may be that single mom with a lot on her plate. You may be the breadwinner, man of the man of the family, man of the house. You know, whatever it is, you may be juggling a lot of things, have a lot of obligations, like myself. And it is very easy to get overwhelmed. And the way that a lot of us deal with it, like I dealt with it, smoke a little weed here and then throughout the day to help you get through it. Now, this advice to recognize your renewal zones is to engage in things that help you recharge. All right. Something that wasn't quite mentioned, but the reason why. I couldn't include smoking weed and uh, and necessarily and, and drinking, but more so drinking. You know, so smoking weed you could probably find your way in it. But let me let me just let me just say let me just break this down the best way I can. Is that um uh, you want to be conscious? You want to be conscious in your renewal zones when you engage in things that recharge you. All right, because you take that with you. You take that that recharge with you all right so if you recharge by reading a book for example uh like i do and, and like i just did here i am i come back into the real world into play into this simulation not only refreshed but with added wisdom so now i, I bring a new tool with me okay you know so so not just uh that part but um Part one, which I can't really remember what part one was about. Lesson one, I have to look back at it. But I think lesson one was really speaking on um, doing things not necessarily for the expectation, but because it's natural, because it's feel it's it's like it's the right thing to do. So you cut all expectations out of that. And I'm I made a video on expectations uh, before. You go ahead and check that out. But renewal zones. One thing that I really did to recharge during the summer is that I kept going to this wave pool and that was really good for me it was very meditative it was very refreshing I went back into my day with some calm with some fullness and um and this is the benefit of this is the this is why it's such a great benefit to wake up an hour early or so before you have to handle everything so you can make time for your renewal for your renewal zones so that may be watching cartoons that may be playing the mad and playing 2k playing video games that's all good baby just so long as you're conscious while you're doing it that may be reading books that may be exercising that may be talking to a friend but when you engage in these things be conscious understand why you why you are doing these things why are you doing it? are you doing this to pass time are you doing this to escape are you doing this to recharge? 
and no matter what you're doing but actually let's say you're consciously doing this because you want to recharge just focus on how great this feels to recoup to really get yourself back together to get yourself into a position where you can be more productive you can take on the rest of the day without overheating without burning out okay because um if you don't have these things, if you don't have a renewal zone or you don't activate it, then you will burn out. Then you will get overwhelmed. You will activate your depression, uh, the anxiety that you may have. You know, your worry, being overwhelmed, all of these things. So if you are managing a heavy load, you really need to identify that which will help you recharge, bring you peace, added wisdom joy activate your gratitude all of these things that's why it's highly imperative to be conscious so when we talk about obviously we're just going to eliminate alcohol because i don't think that's a great way to recharge but we can argue uh marijuana use for example and i hate to narrow it down to just just these two things i'm sure you guys can come up with a larger list but when we talk about marijuana it alters your consciousness so it's like you you can't stay there the whole time and that's the issue you know you won't be able to take this highness with you because from the moment you get high, you you know you're starting to come down. You know, so you might get an hour or so of this, but like when you come down, you come down, man. It's like you you don't feel as revitalized. You don't feel it. It doesn't carry over as long. Like and and the come down when it comes to weed is is it's not always bad, but it's not always good. You know, and it's like you will have to keep doing it over and over and over again as your tolerance starts to build to really get some satisfaction again. But I'm not knocking people who do it. In fact, if I had to advise somebody who is using marijuana to recharge, put it towards the end of the day, the end of the day. All right. So about two hours before you go to sleep, I like to say two hours, you get high and you can eat, play video, whatever it is, do all of these things with the hopes that you can remain conscious enough to really take it all in enjoy it go to sleep wake up feeling anew you know give yourself something to look forward to also speaking of that this is one of the benefits of having a renewal zone is that you have something to look forward to not as a means to say oh I can't wait till this day is over I can't wait to, because that's detrimental all right, because time will go by and time goes by fast. And before you know it, you're older, you're older, you're older. And um, instead of wishing time will go by faster, you know, work towards building up the strength, the fortitude to make it through challenging times. And having something to look forward to will enable you uh, to do that. So takes you out of your victimhood, empowers you, put helps you put things in a perspective, again, to recharge, so you can take on the challenges with, uh, with added strength, with added wisdom, added everything, all right, anything that you look to, that you want to add, so recognize your renewal zones, best wishes. I didn't hit the button. Best wishes.